you survive tough times everybody gets tough times but some people seem to get even tougher than others all sorts of things happen of course in life divorce you wipe all your money out you end up in debt you lose your job you're in a situation you lose a partner somebody close to you dies or somebody close to you is seriously sick or perhaps you have sickness yourself how do you survive these tough times testing times okay well this is the mindset that i personally believe in Number one, think about what assets you have. So if you've just got your eyesight, how much is your eyesight worth? Just think about it. If you couldn't see the colors, the color red, the rose, blue, would you swap a million for your eyesight? You wouldn't, right? So think about what you've got going for you. And if you've lost your life's eyesight, think about other things that you have. Just realize there's something you've got and you have to focus on what you've got that's good. You can't focus on the bad. If you start saying, why me? You end up digging yourself a hole and you then start to jump in the hole. That's the way to actually get yourself more depressed. You've got to realize you've got assets, concentrate on what's good. Then when you say to yourself, like a businessman would, how can I use my assets? What do I have? What do I have that I can use? Can I help other people? The moment you start to realize there's other people you can help. Get the focus off you, you change your mindset. Inspire others. When you inspire others, when you give, you actually get back. When you give out in life, you get back. And that's one way to survive tough times. People that have gone through extreme tough times, the Holocaust even, say you've got to make sure that every day you keep your standards. In other words, for a guy, you'd have a shave and you'd look the world in the eye. You try and make sure you keep as smart as you can. If you've got tough times, Prisoners have said, you've got to keep your focus. Mandela, he said 27 years in jail and somehow incredibly came out and actually wasn't resentful, wasn't full of actually, why me? And actually ending up in a situation where he couldn't do good. What did he do? He concentrated on the good that he could do. He concentrated on having the right frame of mind. And while he was in prison, he tried to look as smart as he could and he had positive visualization of what he could do when he got out of jail. Incredible man. And of course, all of us have tough times, but some of us get tougher than others. So it's up to all of us to make sure we help other people. Okay, just think, there's always someone you know that needs your help. And when you help other people, then guess what? As I've already said, when you give out in life, you get back. Okay, but actually, even more importantly, the people you help, they will help you when you have tough times. Surviving tough times is super hard, but nevertheless, we can do it. The Bible says, my dad was a preacher, this too shall pass. In other words, many things, not everything, but many things, pass in time. Time erases, at least at the very least. It reduces some of the pain. Can you survive tough times? Absolutely. And of course, you can survive them in two ways. You can survive them in misery or you can survive them by fighting. Okay, I want you to make sure you survive any tough times you have. I've had them. You'll have them by fighting your way through, keeping positive and helping other people. Please like, please share the video, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.